Hey y'all, Sai here and Gibbs. And I have a bunch of scroll saw blades. I finally figured out which blades I like, which are number three, number five, and two dash zero, or two slash zero, two oh, two aught, maybe. Anywho, uh, those are the ones I like. But when I look at all the scroll saw blades that I have, I have a bunch of different kinds because I didn't know what I liked and I had variety packs and all that stuff. So now I want to do an organization type thing. And I found this picture, which I really like, but I don't want to make a whole stack. I just want to make it one line. I have 15 little containers that I bought. They're like little test tubes with a lid, I guess. Anyway. Uh, they're plastic, and I'm going to just make a row of five, three rows of five, on their own individual thing so that I can have, you know, not a big bulky thing, but just a small set of five that I can magnetize to something. So I'm going to try to make this. And I was asking husband about the angles and stuff, and he says, why don't you just make it uh, square? I'm like, yeah, that'd be easier. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Isn't that right, give you? So I've been drawing it out like that. And I used some graph paper, which wasn't long enough. So I figured out where I want the holes and all that and how many pieces of what I need. And it's, it's pretty basic, really. So I'm just going to start cutting those pieces out. Hey, I need nine pieces that are two inches wide. So I had some fertilizing powder and I put it in my pocket because it was down at the house and I wanted to bring it up to the shop. So just now I went to take it out of my pocket and the lid had come off somehow. And so I just sprayed it with air and look at my hands all pearlized. Ah! And look at my ring, whoa, good. <laughs> cool. So I ripped all of those pieces down on the table saw. Here's those pieces, so I'm just going to sand off the uh, splinters. Since I don't have splinters. See my pearlized hand? <laughs> it's so good! So good! Then I cut out the pattern I had made on the graph paper that will mark the centers of the circles I was going to be cutting out. Then put that template on the wood and marked each of the centers with an awl. I used a hole saw to cut out each circle, but the next time I will use a Forstner bit because the wood gets stuck inside of the hole saw and it was a pain to dislodge the stuck piece. So I didn't know the pearlizing powder was also all over my face. Ah! All right, I was going to cut all of these out, which is just two, four more. Not very many more. But I think I'm going to wait because ah! if I don't like this, I don't want to be making a whole bunch of extra that I'm never going to use. So I'm just going to make one, see if I like it, and I'll make the others. Yeah. So I sanded those, then laid it all out to see how it would fit with there. the tubes. Then glued those boards with the holes along the edge of another board and decided to quit for the night because it was one of those days where I was just done. Hey, so I have a fresh mind this morning and I am figuring out how to put this together. So I took my pieces that I grouped up and I'm setting it on this other board. So I know this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here, I'm thinking. Like so. And then this one, jar will fit like that. This one is gonna go about there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I marked the board underneath and cut that to length. 
these two parts, this board, this one, and these two. Then with all the pieces, I started gluing together. them together. Check the fit of the tube real quick. And when that was dry, I drilled some holes with a forcer bit on the back to add some magnets. I used some Starbond CA glue to bond the metal magnet to the wood, and Wally hung out with me for a while while I did this. While I'm waiting for the Starbond to set up with the magnets, I am going to organize my blades. So, I have a bunch of fives, see that? And this is Pegasus Modified Geometry Fives. So, we do. might make different labels for these, but for now I'll just write on the lid. I have all my blades now in their designated spots, and I will probably be reducing these as I use up the blade because I'm not going to use those kind of blades anymore. But let's see about putting them in here. So I have my five blades. I have two different kinds. And, and I have my three blades. Two different kinds because I'm trying to figure out if I like one brand versus the other Platinum Plus versus Pegasus Modified Geometry so I'm gonna be testing those out and then the 2O blades which I also have two of again so this one has to sit to the side until I figure out which one I like best so let's go see if it fits on Bob well I was thinking I could put it down there, but maybe in the front here. Like It'll hold it. It's not gonna hold it. Stinkness. Not, not strong enough. Well, stink. It's not gonna work. <laughs> but I've now learned about some new, stronger magnets. So I may be able to just replace those magnets with some stronger ones and it'll work. Okay, I have an alternate idea. I'm going to glue this onto this piece, right at that line. And just make it like a, oh, what are those things called? Like a cleat. I'm gonna make a cleat for it, that's what it's called. A cleat. So we'll let that set up for a little bit. Before it was totally set up, I added some screws to help with strength, especially since everything would be hanging from this one cleat. Then I attached the cleat to the blade holder with glue and again used screws to help with the strength. There, let's go try it now. <laughs> To Bob. Let's just see. There. That kind of works. Well, it'll work. Another messed up project, but I think it'll work. I'm going to be happy with it anyway. So, yeah. I was gonna make plans and all that for this, but who wants them? <laughs> and there's a bunch of plans out there to build these things. I just went off of a picture, kind of, which I ended up not doing, but anyway. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time, bye! Hey, so for the rest of my blades, I ended up making a two-tiered holder, kind of like that picture I had, just two tiers. So I have the three tiers, just one is separated and 
the two are together, but I just mounted that on the wall and I think it's gonna work out great. So I just wanted to show you that. So thanks for joining me, everybody, while I fumbled my way through this project. But at least I have a place where I can put my blades now. Easily accessible and not full of sawdust. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>